All right, we got cut off before I could finish the last two. Um, so now we've got a four kilogram mass. So let's draw that. Sitting on a table that has five newtons of friction. Maria applies a force of 25 newtons and there's an opposing force of friction of five newtons. So when we've got two opposing forces, we subtract. So 25 minus five equals 20. And that's newtons, and then that will equal four kg times A, which is what we're solving for. Divide both sides by four, that crosses out. 20 divided by four is five meters per second per second, or per second squared. Wonderful. Find the acceleration of the four kilogram block in the diagram, or the following diagram. So again, we've got two opposing forces. 37 minus 21 is 16 newtons equals four kg times A. Divide everything by four. Cancels out, 16 divided by four is four meters per second squared, all right? Um, so these ones with the cubes, we've had a lot of these for practice. They're, they're relatively easy. The only um, practice ones that we haven't seen on this page on Newton's, uh, or sorry, on the force equals MA worksheet number three is what happens if we need to overcome friction. So let's say, uh, let's say we have, um, Let's kind of work backwards here. And there, there was a question about this on one of the previous force worksheets. So let's take number 11 as an example. So let's say we get rid of that, right? And it says, okay, we've got a four kilogram mass. There's five newtons of friction. So let's, let's draw this again down here. Let's open up this page a little bit. Uh, let's say we've got a four kilogram mass. We've got five newtons of friction. And let's say how, the question would be, how much force is necessary to accelerate the object at, let's just make it easy, five meters per second squared. Easy because those numbers will work. So we need to find the force necessary to accelerate the object at five meters per second squared. Um, so now we need to overcome this friction with enough force to move this four kilogram object at five meters per second squared. So how do we do that? Well, we're solving for force. So force equals mass times acceleration. So force equals 20 newtons. However, that's 20 newtons to move this block if there was no friction. So since there's friction right here, we need to add that here, which would give us a total of 25 newtons. Because of this 25 newtons, five of it is going to be spent, it's going to be wasted on friction, right? Friction opposes five newtons of that force. So what we're really left with in terms of a net force is 20 newtons. And that 20 newtons is enough to move this four kilogram mass five meters per second squared. So as you can see, what we did is we took the answer, like all the numbers from number 11, and just kind of reworded it. So rather than working um, towards finding the acceleration, you could also work backwards and have to find the force and account for friction by adding it in rather than subtracting it out. Um, there's a couple questions like that on some of the previous worksheets, so I would check with those or you can make up your own. Uh, for studying for the test on Friday, I think one of the best ways to do it is take F equals MA worksheet number three, maybe you know number two or something like that as well, and changing the numbers, you know, just going back in and you know writing them out or typing them out and just changing the numbers around and then going through and answering them in random order. Um, I'm happy to take a look at your work and you know if, if you've changed the numbers but you're following the same method, you'll be sure to get them correct. Um, so force equals mass uh, times acceleration worksheet number three. That's a good place to start your review, at least for the math section. All right, good luck.